Glenn Keane is a legendary animator, a singularity on this planet. He was with Disney for 38 years. Glenn wanted to draw again, but with a graphite pencil. That meant that he was to become our rendering engine. Only he'd render on paper and in 2D. Now, Glenn is at once an amazing rendering engine, but he's very high latency. <laughs> he just can't draw in real time on the screen. Glenn's art challenged the tech of Spotlight Stories in entirely new ways. And the Spotlight Stories studio became a place where animators and engineers sat side by side, where Glenn taught us to draw, and we taught him if then else. <laughs> now, he flipped a few things on us, too. He turned the rendering timing problem completely upside down. In CG, the time of the frame is chosen, and the rendering engine creates a perfectly tuned image. But because Glenn was our engine, all animation timing had to be cued off the image drawn. There's no interpolation between hand-drawn images. This required better than 16 millisecond timing accuracy. Every piece of the pipeline had to become high precision. It took three months to implement an entirely new timing architecture. Everything from the animation system to the camera had to behave in reverse order. And when it's wrong, it's wrong. Ghosting occurs, or characters miss their cues. We flipped a few problems on Glenn. Traditional animation is drawn at 24 frames per second. But on a mobile device, everything is waiting for frames at 60 frames per second. That meant that Glenn had to draw not in 24 frames per second, but in 60 frames per second. And he had to draw in three-point perspective at scale. Glenn's story duet contains 10,055 original drawings. And these are just the frames that are visible. Many more were not used. So we had to develop a filing system. This is Glenn's. <laughs> and this is ours. And we had to recover occasionally from file corruption. <laughs> Compression became critically important. Glenn is able to create seamless transitions, like the transformation of characters as they grow. In fact, it's so seamless, you don't feel there's anything unnatural about it. No technique in CG will allow that to happen. No mathematical encoding will enable you to do such a transformation. That meant what was once a mathematical representation of the line now was a graphite stardust field. And each drawing had to be mapped exactly to the screen resolution so that it feels as if the line is drawn right in front of you. Pixelization destroys the life of the line. 10,055 drawings became 13.5 gigabytes of data. And we used an entire hierarchy of compression to fit that into 150 megabytes. The score attracted two Stradivarius violins and top musicians who came because the visual demanded music of equal beauty. Duet allowed state-of-the-art technology software and hardware engineers to breathe new life into an art form almost lost to us. The art of hand-drawn animations, Glenn Keane's art. myself as an artist first who animates. Fortunately for me, everything I've animated has always tested me to learn something new. And I, I do believe that 
those feelings come out in line. In embracing this new technology, I feel like I rediscovered a love for animation. As a tech team, we had no idea how this would be executed, none whatsoever. Going from CG, how do we do that in a way that doesn't distort what Glenn is drawing? In CG, if something goes wrong, it's very easy to fix it up and go. In hand-drawn, there's no way, because that has to be redrawn by Glenn. To some extent, he's our rendering engine. He's the guy who's actually producing the frames. We're just putting them in a 3D space. Unlike traditional film, our hardware runs at 60 frames per second, not 24. We decided from the beginning that what you see on screen will be Glenn's drawings untouched. I've spent 40 years thinking at 24 frames a second. How in the world can I actually animate at a whole different time rate? And it was like, whoa, that's a lot of work. But then I started thinking, wait a second. This gives you 60 more possible images to describe an action with. Why wouldn't you want that? This whole experience has shown me that whether you're holding a pencil or you're programming on a keyboard, you are an artist. It's going to take both sides to really move this art form forward to what it can become. With a traditional story, the director holds the camera, so you know he'll get it right. But in our medium, we never knew. You see somebody watching duet and tearing up. That's a moment that you don't forget. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn King. Thank you. So I'm an animator, which is an actor with a pencil. Um, so I think I better boot up my device here. <laughs> Wait for it. Uh, there it goes. Okay. So like I said, I'm an, an actor with a pencil. And so whether I'm animating a mermaid or the beast or Aladdin or Tarzan, I live in the skin of the characters that I draw. In this case, it's, it's a little baby girl, which is weird, I know. <laughs> But I know, what, I know what it feels like to hold a little baby like this in your arms. Just this last week, uh, we had our new little granddaughter born. And I know that those soft little chubby arms with their little marshmallow hands, what that feels like. And when I draw, I see my drawing as a sort of... Um, it's a way for me to connect to you. Um, I see drawing as a, as a kind of seismograph of the soul. Uh, the lines representing how I feel. And kind of like um, the eyes are the window to the soul. And this is little Mia from Duet with their little beauty mark and a belly button. <laughs> Thank you. About a year ago, Regina invited me up to ATAP, and she handed me this mobile device and said, uh, so what would you do with this? And I looked at it and said, well, the screen is a lot smaller. I'm used to a big movie screen where my animation can, pl can play up there. And then I noticed it wasn't a screen at all, but it was a window into an infinite virtual world where the viewer had the camera in their hands. And it was a a seamless storytelling 
it was, it was like there was no cuts in it at all. Uh, it, was, it was like unbroken eye contact, a, a captivating conversation between the artist and the viewer. I th this is wonderful. I said, so Regina, I mean, what, what do you want me to do with this? And she said, I just want you to make something beautiful and emotional. Oh, this is music to the ears of any artist. So what's the catch? She said, well, there is no catch. I just want you to push yourself creatively. That will push us technologically. I like this, Regina. <laughs> <laughs> like, so a year later, here we are with Duet. And the thing I realize, as I think back on that year, working side by side with Rashid's team, is that whether you're an artist with a pencil, expressing yourself creatively, or you are programming on a keyboard, that kind of an artist, we stand on one another's shoulders to reach higher than any one of us could do alone. Later on this year, you'll see Duet in all of its virtual uh, interactive glory. But this morning, we're going to present it to you uh, in a theatrical format. And I hope you like it. Here's Duet. <laughs> 